All right, this bit uh, we call, this bit is take a walk. This bit took a long time for me to work on. Um, I probably came up with it maybe seven or eight years ago when I was 32 years old. My one buddy, he's got a whole family. He's like, why don't you come over for dinner? And I was like, yeah, and then what? <laughs> I was hanging out at my buddy Jason's house and he's married with kids and he invited me over for Thanksgiving. When I was first invited, I thought, Oh, that's something different. But like I was hesitant because I knew that it wouldn't be as entertaining as going to a Friendsgiving or bouncing around to other people's places. Uh, I'm a, a single guy and at the time of this bit, when I first came up with it, I was 32. Here I am present day, I'm 40. This joke is still true to me. When he invited me over, I'm like, okay, I'll come over and eat and then they're like, but what are we gonna like do? <laughs> He's like, well, there's, there's dessert. If you have friends and they have newborn babies and they're under the age of four, they are inviting you over. And then you go over to the house and you're like, why did I agree to this? They're miserable. And that's why they invited you over for dinner because they wanna see how miserable it makes you and that's something they relate to and then they laugh because they go, you don't wanna be here. You don't want to be here, but you are now seeing what our lives are like. And we are very happy we did this. Uh, having children is so fulfilling. See? So fulfilling that we begged you to come over for dinner. Halfway through dinner, and he looks at me and he goes, Yo, when we're done eating, let's go, let's go take a walk. And I'm like, ha ha, he's talking code. Because I think that means we're going to go get high. I don't know. I'm 32 at the time. And I'm like, this is it. This is the exciting part. This is why I came to hang out with him because I knew, oh yeah, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go get high. So we finish dinner, we go on a walk and we're like two, three blocks into this walk. And I'm like, this is far enough. <laughs> we're pretty far, nobody's gonna smell it from here. And I thought he was talking code in front of the family. So I'm like, yo, what's the deal? Are we gonna get high or what? He's like, what the f are you talking about? I was like, you said at dinner, let's go take a walk. He's like, yeah, man, we're on a walk. I go, who the f plans a walk. You don't have to plan a walk. You could just come up to me and be like, hey, you want to go on a walk? I can make that decision right there and then. When you plan a walk, it insinuates that we're going to go do something more fun. He's like, no, man, that's not how it is. I'm 50. When I eat a lot of food, I get really full and I got to go on these walks to stretch it out. And that was funny enough. I remember we were all laughing out loud and I was like, wow, that's how different our lives are that I'm thinking we were going to have fun and get high. And you're like, no, this is just an evening with a family man, a father with kids who's almost 50 and ate a little too much and he needs to help digest his food. So now I'm just on some walk with a 50 year old man. I'm like, are we gonna make out at the end of this? Like, should I hold your hand? Am I your nurse? Everybody knows take a walk means let's get high. If you didn't, you're too old. When I first thought of the bit, I knew I had to get to that point and the trial and error took a long time it bombed a lot. It didn't necessarily bomb. It was just people like, but I knew it was relatable and I knew maybe sometimes it wasn't the right audience. And I just thought that that's the, the difference in a person's life who is a bachelor at 32 at the time, hanging out with a 45 year old man. Sure, we can be friends, but how different our lives are just in such a mundane situation that Going on a walk is actually to digest your stomach and for me it's to get high. The contrast in our lives is what I found funny and why I wanted to reiterate that to the crowd. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys in Miami, if you're in a bar and your buddy goes, let's go to the bathroom, you're not going to pee. You know what you're going to do. But guess what? If there's two 55 year olds hanging out at a bar and they're like, yo, I gotta go to the bathroom, you wanna go to the bathroom? You know they're going to the bathroom because they got bladder issues, okay? The only time take a walk doesn't mean let's get high is if it's like some old Italian guy. That means you're about to die. <laughs> hey, you wanna go take a walk? I'm not that full, man. I got a boat. I'm good, bro, I've seen all the Sopranos episodes. And then the, the tag at the end, that's kind of like from all the legendary mobster movies, which is funny, they're always like, hey, why, 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 why does everybody calm down? And like, hey, Rocco, Rocco, why don't you come take a walk with me, huh? Why, hey, Rocco, how you been doing? You been doing good? Yeah, you're short on the money, aren't you? You're short on uh, payments, right? It's been, a, it's been a minute since you've paid me, huh? 
No, no, are you, oh, you swear you got the money. I swear I got the money. Please don't get mad at me. I swear, give me one more. We got, hey, Rocco, calm down. We're your friends. We love you. Why don't you come take a walk with us and we'll go talk about it. You know he's going to get killed. That's kind of how that joke kind of came along, but it was definitely uh, a joke that took a long time.